Good morning. Uh, I'm Sid Strummy, and uh, I nominated Rocky Kukla as a modern-day rodeo cowboy. I used to announce rodeos back in the day, and I remember when they were in high school, Rocky Kukla and Brad Germanson. One would win one rodeo, and then the other one would win the other. And that went on because they were the same age. And they went on through high school, and both of them went into the professional rodeo circuit. And Rocky did very well. He, was, uh, he rodeoed for several years, I think it was over 10, in the PRCA, rodeoed all over the nation. And uh, he uh, is a very deserving man to be in the Hall of Fame. I'm going to turn the mic over to some other people that have known him throughout the years. And Sharon, here's Sharon Hanson. I'll let her speak on behalf of Rock. Good morning. And my name is Sharon Hanson, and I am here to testify my support of Rocky. And I, and I feel very grateful that I can be here today. Because, of course, if, as some of you would know, that if circumstances were different, it would be my late husband, Doug that would be up here ticking off all the reasons why Rocky belongs in the North Dakota Cowboy Hall of Fame. He would have told you about all those special qualities that he saw in Rocky when he coached him through high school, right into the National High School Rodeo Finals. Doug was always so impressed that this young cowboy was willing to put in all those extra hours in the practice pen, honing those natural talents so that he could appear in the winner's circle time and time again. And even after qualifying for the National High School Rodeo Finals, Doug wanted to make sure that this young cowboy got started right. And so he hauled him off to his first PRCA rodeos. And I know there were some interesting stories about that. Because I think those were the first rodeos where Rocky realized that even if you ride the horse, that doesn't mean you get to crawl in the back seat after the rodeo. Doug promptly handed him the car keys, and Rocky drove all night to the next rodeo, too. First lesson in pro rodeoing. But as you can see by Rocky's bio, he did get it right. He did get off to a great start. Not only the National High School Rodeo Finals, he went on to the Intercollegiate Finals. He qualified for the Badland Circuit eight years. And he was invited to the Home on the Range Champions Ride seven times. And if you look that up, he won that twice. And I looked it up. I think there's only three other cowboys in the world, saddle bronc riders, that ever can brag about doing that. And we know that an injury to Rocky in 1984 was the only thing that kept him out of the NFR finals. So he didn't realize that last dream. I know that there are definitely some of you in the audience that have seen Rocky ride in the years past and can attest to what a great saddle bronc rider he was. But I would like to speak to a part of his character that I don't know how many of you have seen. I've read that the North Dakota Cowboy Hall of Fame criteria for induction states that in addition to achievement and competitive participation in rodeo, the nominee must have upheld the traditions of the Western lifestyle in an honorable manner. Well, here's what I think honorable looks like in real life. When my late husband, Doug, was diagnosed with terminal brain cancer, Rocky was immediately at my side asking what he could do for our family. He came again and again, and he was not deterred, even when Doug could no longer speak and share those great tall tales of great rodeo feats. Rocky continued to offer his emotional and financial support throughout those trying days. Well, Rocky has certainly competed admirably in rodeo arenas all across North Dakota, as well as the United States. And wherever Rocky rode, North Dakota was proudly represented. Rocky has paid his tribute to North Dakota rodeo. And so now, I would say it's time for us to pay tribute to Rocky by voting him into the North Dakota Cowboy Hall of Fame. So thank you.
for your time. And that was tough to follow, Sharon, there, but um, Kirk Olson, I'm District 3 trustee. Uh, but one of the things Rocky, after, you know, as he was winding up his rodeo career, he, he helped the next generation. He really helped me out when I decided to start riding Bronx. He came and he started me out right. He made sure I had a good saddle. He helped me set all the binds on it, get ready. We had an old saddle horse. He, he made sure I had my mark outs good. Uncle Jack Fedick would bring in some tryout horses for us in Kildare, and he was always there to help me. Uh, some of the first horses I got on, um, Rocky and Bud Polly taught a Bronx school up in Kenmare, up Calvin Nelson, brought a bunch of horses, and went up there with uh, Jesse Bale, actually, and, and we got on some of our first horses. And, of course, Jesse, you know, he had a little better career qualifying for the NFR and stuff than I did. But, uh, you know, uh, Rocky's help was always appreciated through through that, and... One thing that I always appreciate about Rocky is outside of high school and uh, college rodeo, I think other than a couple of NRCA rodeos, his entire career was in the PRCA. And I think that speaks volume about the, the, the quality of his riding and the level that he competed at. So um, appreciate your support in getting Rocky into the hall. Thank you.